real threat to the life of the nation comes not from terrorism, but from laws such as these. Laws such as these. The real threat to the life of the nation comes not from terrorism, but from laws such as these. Laws such as these. An anonymous call led federal police to, last month, visit Abraham Rushdie, who was writing a thesis on suicide bombers. We wanted to ascertain if I was suspicious in carrying out any terrorism attacks or activities, and um, just to substantiate why I was borrowing books on uh, terrorism. And I explained that I, at the time I was um, doing an honours, or the year before I was doing an honours in uh, terrorism studies at Monash Uni, and those books were directly related to my studies. After that, he, he uh, took the view that I wasn't a threat to national security and um, didn't ask me any, any more further questions about uh, borrowing books on terrorism. I believe that it was a case of ethnic profiling where he, the Australian Federal Police took uh, my Islamic name and linked that with books I'd been borrowing on terrorism or my studies on terrorism and thought that this might be suspicious activity. Draconian, but necessary. I think we, we, we need to be thankful in this case. It's a very sensible young man who, although he's clearly upset and angry at it, um, is certainly just prepared to put it behind him and get on with his life. Certain segments of the Victorian community are feeling set upon, are feeling very much under siege, and do feel that they are being unfairly targeted by the sorts of counter-terrorism measures that the government uh, has put in place. When they have that mindset, they are more susceptible to being recruited or to being persuaded by people who are linked to terrorists to come and join the cause. And what's happening now, we're slowly being converted into people that are afraid. Right? And they are, people are afraid. I don't like fear. And the only way to overcome it is to stand up and talk about it. Keep going, don't give up. Keep going, keep going, don't give up. Keep going, keep going, don't give up. Keep going, keep going, don't give up. Stop us now! The key issue is understanding what will turn someone from a potential to an actual terrorist. And that's the thing that the government's got to be mindful of. And, and that's why there's got to be a fair degree of sort of, to use the word, sensitivity in implementing the new laws that have been passed over the last few days to make sure that our actual actions don't end up pushing people over the edge as much as anything else.